Hello everyone. This is my third captain project of Alma Metro. Today is my topic of mobile price range prediction. This is the supervised machine learning algorithm of categorical variable means my target variables are categorical. This is my team name is Incredible Data Science. Team member me Ranjit Vishwal, Abhishek Kumar or Subhendu Dev. This is a machine learning project. Nowadays, a cell phone is an essential accessory of a person. It is the fattest involving and moving product of the technology market space. New mobile with updated version and new features are introduced into the market at a rapid price. Thousands of mobile are sold each day in such a fast twist and violent market. A mobile company needs to set optimal price to complete with its revival. This kind of prediction will help companies estimate price of mobiles to give through competition to other mobile manufacturers. Also, it will be useful for customers to verify that they are paying best price for a mobile. In this project, we are going to explore and analyze a data set which contains specifications of 2000 mobile phones and try to predict optimum price range for a list of mobile phones in the market during the purchase of mobile phones. Variable features like memory, display, battery, camera, RAM, ROM, etc. are considered. People fail to make correct decision due to the non-availability of necessary resources to accessory valuable the price. To address this issue, a machine learning model is developed using the data related to the key features of the mobile phone. The developed model is then used to predict the price range of new mobile phone, use the machine learning algorithm namely separately vector machine, random forest classifier, logistic regression, decision tree, navy bias, k nest naiver, and used to train the model and predict the output as low, means zero, low, medium, high, or very in price range. We are divided by four categories, three categories, four categories like zero as low, then medium as one category, high as two category, and very high as three categories. This is a problem statement. Business problem overview. In the competitive market, competitive mobile phone market, companies want to understand sales data of mobile phones and factors which have drive the fees. The object is to find out some relation between features of mobile phone, RAM, internal memory, display, software, etc. And its selling price is the problem. We don't have to predict the actual price, but predict the range indicating how high the price is. This is our aim of in the project on the basic of the mobile specification like battery power, 3G, any network connectivity, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, RAM, ROM. We are predicting price range of the mobile. General guidelines, well-structured format and commented code, and chart visualization code. Let's begin. First of all, import all record library like Panda, Matplotlib, C1, etc. Their libraries are used to load, reprocess, and visualize the data set. <coughs> then load the training and testing data set using the read CSV function of the Pandas module and store into the separate variable train and test data. First of all, import library. Mat import Matplotlib, import Panda, import C1, import NumPy, import SkyPy, import Escalon, and import Panning. This is a connect to Google Drive. First of all, I connect my drive to Google Drive, then I load the data set. 
data set first view. Then I check data set first view data set dot header. There are five rows and 21 columns. Then data set rows and columns count. 2000 data set rows and 21 columns. Then we check data set information. Data set dot info. Then we see <coughs> battery power, blue clock speed, dual slim, phone, figure, internal memory, mobile weight, number of cores, phone height, phone width, RAM, screen, talk time, 3G, 4G, uh, touch screen, Wi-Fi, and price range. Then we check duplicate value. The, there are no duplicate value. Then we check missing value or null value. There are no missing value or no null value. Then visualizing the missing value and checking null value by plotting heat map. This is the value of battery power, blue clock speed, dual SIM, and etc. What do you think about the data set? The given data set from competitive mobile market companies, and we do not have to predict the actual price, but a price range indicating how high the price is. Mobile phones come in all spot of price, feature specification and all. Price estimation of prediction is an important part of customer strategy. Deciding on the correct price of a product is very important for the market success of a product. A new product that has to be launched must have the correct price so that customer find it appreciate to buy the product. The above data set 2000 rows and 21 columns. There are no missing value and duplicate value and no duplicate value in the data set. Then we understand a variable. Then I add index and in battery power, blue and Bluetooth, clock speed, a dual SIM, phone, for figure, internal memory, mobile depth, mobile weight, mobile number of core, phone factory, a height, weight, RAM, ROM, talk time and battery power, Wi-Fi, touch screen or price range. Then data set describe, include all of figure, then eight row and 21 columns, counter. Okay. Then I see variables of description. Battery power and total energy of a battery can store in one measured in MH. Blue has Bluetooth or not. Clock speed, speed at which micros, micros processor execute introduction. Dual SIM. Dual SIM means has dual SIM support or not. FC and front camera, a megapixel. 4G has 4G supported or not internal memory in gigabytes, M depth, mobile depth in camera, mobile weight, worth of mobile phone, number of cores of processor, then primary camera, a megapixel, PX height and pixel resolution height, PX worth, pixel resolution worth, RAM and random accessory memory in mega, touchscreen, phone has touchscreen or not, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi means Wi-Fi, Enable or not, SC, any screen height or mobile in centimeter, screen width, screen width, mobile in centimeter, talk time, longest time that a single charge will last when you are used in last one charge. 3G, and this phone has 3G supported or not, Wi Fi, Wi Fi has Wi Fi or not, price range, this is the Target variable with value of zero low cost, medium cost, and high cost, and very high cost. Check unique value of each variable. Then I check unique variable, but there are no unique variable of each variable. Number of number of unique variable is that same. 1094 or Bluetooth 2, clock speed 26, dual sim 2, FC is 20, or 4G is 2. That's all of a phone. Then data ordering. Create a copy of current data and assigning of DF. 
checking mobile below the price range is zero. Then checking mobile belongs to price range one. Then checking below mobile price range group in two. Then checking mobile below price range group in three. Then so value counts. This is the value counts in number zero group five hundred. Number one group also same as five hundred. Number two three are same as five hundred. Well, in all data, mobile phones group for the supporter and not supporter. This is some phones are supporter, some phones are not supporter. This is the value of which phone are supporter, which phone is not supporter. Then I check mobile phones group by 3G support or not. Then check mobile phone group Bluetooth support or not support. This is some output of which phone is support in which group or which phone is not support in which group. Mobile phones group dual SIM support or not. Some group mobile phones are supported dual SIM and some group mobile are supported single, not supported dual SIM. Mobile phones group by touch screen or not supported and pixel count. Mobile phones group by touch screen support or not support. Some phones are support touch screen and some phones are does not support touch screen. This is the output of group by. See price range with decided pixel counts. Then I check data set. And analysis for this data. Data norm, battery power, clock speed, phone, internal memory, M depth, mobile word, number of cores, phone, pixel height, pixel word, RAM, screen, talk time, and analysis for Bluetooth, dual SIM, 4G, 3G, touch screen, or Wi Fi. This is for category battery power, clock speed, and output is there. The dependent variable four types of unique variable and all four same length of value there are. Data visualization, storytelling, explaining with charts, understanding the relationship between variables. <coughs> this is chart one visualization code, dependent column variables count, dependent variables co column visualization. This is plots of num number zero group, number one group, and number two, three, also same output value of 500 price range in data types. Same variable means in if we take a total of 100, then each year 25% of low cost, medium cost, high cost, and very high cost. A pie chart express a part of two whole relationship in your data. It's easy to explain the percentage comparison through area covered in a circular with different colors. Where different percentage comparison comes into action pie chart is used frequently. So I use pie chart and which help me to get percentage com compression of the dependent variable. Then from the above pie chart, total 2000 data set, I got known there are 500 mobile data, which are low cost, which is 20%. 500 mobile data which are medium cost which is 25%, 500 mobile data which are high cost which is 25% and 500 mobile data which are very high which is 25% of the whole mobile data given in data set. In other words, we can say that all mobile price range category are equal import, important and we, we have to focus on all price range people to maximize our sell and gain more profit. Will the gain inside help creating a positive business impact? Mobile phone prediction is depend upon many factors like processor, RAM, internal memory, camera, megapixel, as much as these features increase the value of a mobile price increase. When some care into market, it provides better value of the mobile of for mobile phones, it gives more features in less price. That's why it's more popular than other company. This is the company that bring new premium phones in less price, like IR blaster, fingerprint sensor in very low price. 
to maximize the sale of mobile, we need to bring more features in less, less, less price. This is chat visualization two. The count float chart show the frequently, frequently counts of value for the different value of a categorical or nominal variable. Sometimes bar charts show other statistics such as a percentage. To show the count of all price range, I have used two bar chart and four price range of 500 counts are there. From the above chart, above count plot chart, total 2000 data set and I got and I got to know there are 500 mobiles data which are low cost, 500 mobile which are medium cost, 500 data which are high cost and 500 data which are very high cost of the whole mobile data given in the data set. <coughs> in other words, we can say that all mobile price range category are equally important, important and we have to focus on all price range people to maximize our sale and gain more profit. Mobile price prediction is depend upon many factors like processor, RAM, memory, etc. This is the visualization of three. And in group of third group, battery power, clock speed, phone factor, internal memory, mobile weight, mobile, height, number of cores, phone, phone height, pixel, pixel width, RAM, ROM, screen touch, screen width, talk time. In this hist plot graph, we can check all numerical column, check the frequently. Okay. This is the number four and group four chart. And in two columns of Bluetooth, Bluetooth row are 1000 and dual SIM also same near to 1000 and 4G also near to 1000 and 3G are some low near to 600 and touch screen like as same near to 1000. Wi-Fi got same result near to just 1000 and above to 1000. This is chart 5 of visualize. This is sum of battery power of equally so and clock speed same as equally and phone factor have equal to of all phone. Box plots are used to show distribution of numerical data value, especially when you want to compare the between multiple groups. They are built to provide high level information at a glance, offering, offering general information about a group of data, symptoms, skew, variable, and outliers. Thus, of each numerical variable in the given data set, I use box plot to analyze the outliers and equalize them, including mean, median, maximum, and maximum value. <clears throat> Almost all columns are symmetric, distributed, and mean is nearly same with medium for numericals columns. Here, area code will be treated as text value. Are there only three values in the particular column? Box plot can define business impact. It don't just see the distribution of the column data over the data set. Visualization code. This is the distribution of price range. 4G is 52.1% uh, supported and does not supported is 47.9%. This is the group of low cost, medium cost, high cost and very high cost. And this is the distribution by price range. 3G supported is 76.2% support and 23.8% is not supported. Distribution by price range. Pie chart is a type of graph in which is a circular divided into sectors 
that each represents a proportion of the whole pie charts are useful to uh, organize data in order to see the size of components relevant for 4G and 3G variables. I have used to pie chart to show percentage of having which one supported and which one is not supported. The bar graph is used to compare the items between different group of price range bar. Bar graphs are used to measure four variables counting the which of mobile supported and which mobile is not supported. 3G support 76.2%, does not supported 23.8%. And same as 4G support 52.1% and not supported as 47.9%. This is the battery power bus versus price range. Number of phones versus camera megapixel of front and primary camera. This is the front camera of this line is megapixel of uh, above 700 and primary camera is lower than 200 lines. Blocksports are used to show distribution of numeric data value, especially when you want to compare them between multiple groups. They are able to provide high-level information at a glance, offering general information about a group of data, variables, and outliers. So I use box plot to get the maximum and minimum value with well-suggested outlier with well-defined means mean, median, and shown in the box plot graph. This is the heat map. Number of battery correlation is one, and out of 100, it's uh, near to 100. It's good combination as a mobile battery backup. A correlation matrix is a table showing correlation coefficient between variables. Each cell in the table shows the correlation between two variables. A correlation matrix is used to summarize data as an input into a more advanced analyze and diagnosis for advanced analysis, the range of correlation minus one to one. To know the correlation between all the variables, along with the correlation coefficient, I use correlation heat map. From the above correlation heat map, we can see total price range are positively high correlated with one value we can see total ram are correlated with value as 92 percent we can see the total phone value are correlated with value of 65 percent price range is positively correlated with all features and negative correlated with rest variables rest all correlation can be disputed from the above chart this is the peak chart plot which had plot the visualization of code. Which had plot is used to understand the best set of features to explain in a relationship between two variables or to form of more separated clusters. It also helps to form some simple classifications models by drawing some simple lines, make linear specification in out of data set. I use pair plot analysis the pattern of data relationship between the features. It exactly same of the correlation map, but here you will get the graphical resolution. From the above chart, I got to know there are less linear relationship between variables and data points are not linearly separable mobile price, separable mobile price range is clustered. Some of the above features are linearly dependent on price range like RAM, internal memory, processor, and so on. Solution to business objective. <laughs> Here are a few strategies you can choose from when determining your prices. Price based on value, price based on prediction, price, price with the trend, know how to raise or lose 
lower prices, use the high low strategy or attract customers. Then start some machine learning. Then I import some machine learning code like Escalon or install SAP, then import SAP, then import graphic and SNS as style. <clears throat> then feature selection with hypothesis test. As cross tab data set Wi Fi versus price range. This is the value of uh, Wi Fi or price range is 0.8355. Null hypothesis is passed. Internal memory and price range does not have relationship. Then I make SAP and XF the Y SAP. This is the splitting, training, and testing data. Separate the data in two types. One thing 75% of data and other testing is 25% of data. Then I add some X train SAP and Y train SAP. This is of output of 1500 row and 19 column and 500 row of, of 19 columns. Then use machine learning model implementation. Logistic regression uh, implementation means machine learning algorithms. Logistic regression, can you Snivers, Navig bias theorem, support vector classification, decision tree, random forest, and exu boost. Then, then I got which value is best for mobile or which price range mobile is best and all features with all features. This is the predict on the model, get the predict probability. Then I add external score and test score and F1 score of trend score CV. This is the output of trend score is 0 0.9166 and test score is 0 0.908 and F1 score is 0 0.908. Then I, then I add precision score and recall score for know the precision score test y test value and y predictable value this is prediction score of x is 0 0.908 and recall score is 0, 0 0.908 this is the group of four group low group high group low medium high and very high 0 1 2 3 or four group Precision value is 0 0.96, 0.86, and 0 0.88, and 0 0.92. And recall value is 0 0.94, 0 0.90, 0 0.84, and 0 0.94. And F1 score is 0 0.95, 0 0.88, and 0 0.86, and 0 0.93. And support value is 132, and 109, 119, and 140. Accuracy, accuracy of all. Accuracy of all is micro average, worth average, and then I check some logistic regression. Probability value of logistic regression is 0 0.98, 0 0.74. Finally, we made result of in logistic regression. I use logistic regression to create in the model as I got not so good result. So next, trying to improving the score by using hyperparameter technique for training score 9 to 1 and testing score is 90%. For testing data, set, I found decision of 90% and recall 90% and F1 score of 90%. But I am also interested to see the result of mobile price range result as per group. I got low as zero price in 96%, zero group, nine price, is 96 percent and recall price of 94 percent and f1 score of 95 percent then i got medium price prediction of 86 percent of and recall of 96 percent of 90 percent and f1 score of 88 percent i got high price precision 88 percent and and recall of 84 and F1 score is 86 percent. 
then I got very high price 92% and, re and recall of 94, recall value of 94 and F1 score is 93%. Then I check validation of hyperparameter tuning. Then I add some grid sort CB and grid feed. Grid sort CB estimator logistic regression. Max ITR is 500 and job is 1. Parameter param grid, param grid CB result is 0 0.01 and 0 0.1, 10 or 100. Then predict on the model, get the predicted classes. Then I add trend score as trend score and test score and F1 score. There are trend score is 0.95 and test score is 0.94 and F1 score is 0.94. Then I check precision score or recall score. Then there are precision score is 0.94 and recall score is 0.94. Which, which hyperparameter optimization technique have you used and why? Our goal should be to find the best hyperparameter value to get the perfect prediction result from our model. But the question arises how to find these best set of hyperparameters. One can try the manual source method by using the hint and trial process and can find the best hyperparameters which would take huge time to build a single model. For this reason, methods like random sorts, grid sorts, we introduced grid sorts as a different combination of all specified hyperparameters and their values and calculate the performance of each combination and selected the best value of hyperparameters. This makes the process time consuming and expensive based on the customer hyperparameters involved. In grid search CV, along with the grid search CV, cross validation in also performed cross validation is used while training the model. That's why I have used grid search CV method of hyperparameter optimization. Have you ever seen improvement? Yes, of course, for training score 95% and testing score of 94% for testing data set. I, go, I got low price as 98 and the resale value of 95% and then ML model and ML model 2. Implementing KN URS NIVO and KNN. Then I use KNN, import KNN NIVO as classifiers, set up array to store training and testing accuracy, set up a KNN classifier with KNN NIVO, fit the model, then compute accuracy on training set. Generate plot and generate the plot for KNN verifying number of NIVORS and the number of accuracy. This is the KNN verifying models of NIVORS testing accuracy and training accuracy. Testing accuracy is very low as 0 to 100 and training accuracy is good as 1 to 100. Then set up KNN classifier with KNIVORS. Then I Got some fit the model and training score is 0.568 and test score is 0.528. Then F1 score is 0.528. Then <coughs> we made result in KNN classifier. I used KNN classifier to create the model as I got not so good result. For training score is 56% and testing score is 52%. For testing data set, I found decision of 52% of and recall of 52% and F1 score is 52%. But I am also interested to see the result for more mobile price range. Then I check Nebic bias classifier, applying Nebic bias classifier. And applying Nebic bias classifier for training score and test score. This is the output of trend score is 0.814 and test score is 0.802 and F1 score is 0.802. Then I check precision score and recall score. Precision, there is precision score is 
0.802 and recall score is 0 0.802 and same and there are we get some result i have used navibias algorithm to create the model as i got the as i got not so good result for training eight score is 81 percent and testing score is 80 percent for for testing that i found this is an 80 percent and the call of 80 percent and the fun score is also 80 percent but i'm also interested to see the result of oil price here yeah. then i implementing support vector machine algorithm then support vector model and support vector model fit then i train score uh, then i implementing train train score test score and f1 score train score output is 0 0.956 and test score point is 0 0.803 and f1 score is 0 0.832 then i check some precision score and recall score uh, precision score is 0.832 and recall score is 0 0.832 as same then i check support vector classifier and support vector classifier score is 0 0.9933 i use support vector machine to create a model as i got not so good result then i check implementing decision tree <coughs> in implementing decision tree i check trend score test score and f1 score then output of trend score is 0 0.93 and test score is 0.86 and f1 score is 0.8599 and then check decision score recall score and um, output is decision score of 0 0.86 and recall score is output of 0 0.86 that's same and there are and this is a not a good result then I check cross validation. This is the grid search CV and cross validation output of all models. Then decision tree classifier for classifying the decision tree and predict the model, get the predicted probabilities, and get the confusion metric for both trend and test data. This is the Trend score output of 0.891 and test score of point is test score output is 0.848. F1 score is 0.848. Our goal should I I should be to find the best hyperparameter value in the to get the perfect prediction result from our model. But the question arises how to find the best sets hyperparameter once. One can try the manual search method by using heat and trial process and can find the best hyperparameters. That's a, for this reason, methods like random search, CV grid search, we introduced grid search, uses a different combination of all specified hyperparameters and their value and calculates the performance of each combination and sets of hyperparameters. In grid search CV, along with grid search CV, cross validation is also performed. Cross validation is used while training the model. That's why I use grid search CV method of hyperparameter optimization. For training score is 89 and testing score is 84%. Then I check implementing random forest classifier. Okay. Then I add Trend score, test score, or F1 score. And output of trend score is 0.997 and test score is 0.858 and F1 score is 0.858. Then I check precision score uh, and recall score. Precision score output is 0.858 and recall score output is 0.858. I use random forest classifier to create a model as I got not so good result. Then I check hyper tuning or random forest classifier, max depth, max features, max lift nodes, minimum sample split, and estimators. The random forest classifier in max depth. Find the best score. Find I got find the best score is 0.8599. Then I make some prediction, evaluation of matrix for test. 
classification reports for decision tree and test score is 0 0.997 is the best score and test score is 0.858 and prediction score is 0.86 and recall score is 0.86 and features importance features importance and graph of features importance then i add some implementing of exibus classifier applying exibus classifier and prediction and evaluation metric for test and I apply some trend, so trend score, test score, prediction score, and recall score. This is the output of trend score is 1.0. Test score output is 0.894. Decision score is 0.894. And recall score is 0.894. I use XGBoost classifier to create the model as I got the good result of XGB classifier. Then I check cross validation. <coughs> also, I got the best result in cross validation. Trend score is 0 0.987 and test score is 0 0.892 and F1 score is 0 0.892. Then I check some evaluation matrix for trend, precision score or recall score. And precision score is 0 0.892 and recall score is 0 0.892. Our, our goal should be find the best hyperparameter, the prediction value. Finally, we made the result cross validation of XGBoost classifier. For training score is 98% and testing score is 89% for testing data set. I got low price precision 100% of and recall of 100% and F1 score of 100%. I got medium price precision 100% and recall of 100% and F1 score as 100%. Then I got high price precision of 100% and recall of 100% and F1 score is 100%. And I got very high score of price precision is 100% and recall of 100% and F1 score is 100%. I have chose Exibus model and logistic regression, which is hyperparameter optimized. First of all, I need to accuracy for the model price range precision. For greater accuracy, we can use kernel SBM and supervised machine learning random forest Exibus. So I tried to both logistic and Exibus. Here is their evaluation matrix, and I would like to compare. And I got the best value as Exibus. And last is conclusion. Finally, we made in this article, we looked at classification, classifiers represents, represents interaction of advanced machine theory and practical application. These algorithms are more than just a strong mechanism for organized on unavailable data interacts into distinct groupings. Classifiers includes a unique set of dynamic rules that includes an interruption mechanism for dealing with ambiguous or unknowing values, all of which is suited for the kind of inputs belonging analysis. Most classifiers also utilize probability estimator, which is, which is enable end user to adjust data categorical using utility functions. From EDA, we can see that where mobile phones in four range, the number of elements is almost similar. Half of half the device have Bluetooth and half Bluetooth is don't have device, don't have Bluetooth device. There is a gradual increases in battery as the price range increases. RAM has continuous increase with price range moving from low to very high cost. Costly phones are lighter and lightweight. RAM battery power pix pixels play more significantly role in deciding the price range of mobile phones. From all the above experiments, we can conclude the XG boost and linear regression with using hyperparameter. We got the best result. This is our team name and successfully completed machine learning captain project. Thank you. Thank you, Alma Metro.